All right, guys, so I'm here in SketchUp. Um, I've started to make some modifications here. And I just wanted to do a walkthrough of kind of how you can set up your walkthrough and how to present this. Um, I'm on Mac, so I'm using QuickTime screen, uh, screen Record. If you've got a Mac, you, it's easy as going to QuickTime Player and then going to File and New Screen Recording, which I cannot do because I'm currently in. So here we are, we're on the outside of the CEA, and I have set up scenes. Mine's gonna look a bit different from you, but I have several scenes, so I'm not worried about navigating um, as I do this voiceover here. Uh, if I were you, I would highly recommend setting up scenes. If you play around on your sidebar, that'll be in the uh, free version of SketchUp, you will see where you can uh, add scenes. I recommend adding many. So as you can see here, I've added a cover. Um, it's arched to kind of look like the one up front, and I've added brick here, a little bump out. I think <clears throat> adding a little bit of brick to the front of this to break up all the metal uh, would really start to show people, yes, this is where you want to go. It'll help it jump off the building. Obviously, this thing can't float here, but I didn't want to take too much longer in getting this video out to you guys. So obviously, we, we're going to need some support here. Uh, you can see we've got double doors. The entryway has been widened. I think there's a lot more, obviously, that you could do out here, but as far as trying to communicate your concept to somebody, I think this does a pretty good job of, of getting it out there. We'll walk in closer to the building. You can see right off the bat, we can actually see to the back wall now, and we can see there's a lot more interesting stuff happening in the background, um, asking us to come in. Uh, so let's see, the wall's been removed. Uh, I have put a double door here and I've actually extended the footprint out. So we had talked about wouldn't it be kind of cool to bring this wall in line with this wall over here. And so I went ahead and do that. And then I put the door over here instead of having a, a small little hallway in this area and having to turn. I thought it'd be nice to just have more room for the student lounge. That area of the lab doesn't really get used for anything. So there's no point really and really having that door enter that direction. Um, we can see here, this is class uh, Y103. I don't think we can get away from this bump out given that we're gonna need this space for desks. So I did leave the bump out, but I did get my glass in here. I think to make this wall, this corner glass could be complicated. I, I would love to see that be glass, but you know, if it's gonna cost an extra ten, twenty thousand dollars to turn the corner of the glass, then we could just keep that drywall. So I just left that drywall. Uh, here we're coming into the class. We've got movable desks. I think I have enough desks for 18 students is what we would need. Obviously we need an instruct instructor station over here or over here. But this classroom, um, I think an accent wall would actually be pretty nice on this wall as well. Maybe something that matches out here. But this is a pretty standard issue classroom. Um, if we don't have fire equipment all over it, it's already much better, isn't it? Here we've got a view from the front of the class, looking back out, uh, revealing more of the lobby to us. I think it's gonna be important to have a little kitchenette area. I really want people to feel like they can come in here and hang out uh, before class, after class, and that would include uh, preparing you know, a meal, a snack, something like that. Uh, we magically walk through the wall here. We get a better look at this. Uh, we do have we have plenty of room for this even did a little cluster art thing because that seems nice and you can see this this opening here it's way more open over here i've gone with tile and then a transition into like that standard issue parkland carpet um but yeah that, that i just feel like that's way more open we've got an accent wood wall here i think the lounge should try to be a lot of fun uh, sitting down at one of the tables looking at the classroom, you guys can see this just feels so much more open. It was just super closed off before. I put these benches in here. I don't know that it's necessary. Uh, I was just coming from a perspective of it would be great to have a lot of people in here hanging out, talking together. I just want to make sure there's enough seating for everybody. There is an option for maybe ottomans that could be parked in front of here or up against a wall. They could be moved around for people to sit on. And then the TV, like we talked about, uh, probably get a bigger one, right? That's, I think that's a 55, but I say go big or go home. Here's the view entering from the lab into the lounge. Uh, I don't know, I feel like this is critical, right? This is something that students will pass um, through quite often. I think this is just kind of a neat view to look at it from this perspective. And then this is, 
this is just pretty cool in my in my opinion the fact that we can see all of the student lounge uh from the lab and then vice versa really i think i have some another yeah here we go just a little bit further back the space just looks so much more modern obviously this wall does go up higher but this is kind of what i was talking about the ability to put a mezzanine like a second floor it would be interesting if, if one of you took the time to draw that in because the stairs could actually live over here now maybe i'll draw that in and we'll take a look at that next class and then i thought this was fun to just take a look at this from the doorway this is kind of where we would be if we were standing inside of the house so but that's that's kind of the rundown if we go back to scene one right we start back at the beginning and this is just kind of the quick walkthrough of the whole thing again uh, i did spend I spent a decent amount of time in here. I want to say I've, I've got like two hours of just playing around, uh, downloading different stuff from the warehouse. Uh, I really recommend you guys, I mean, I didn't model all these pieces of furniture. This is all from the warehouse. I think this is, yeah, downloading stuff from the warehouse really allows you to, you know, fill out the drawing, add some detail without putting in a lot of work. So, yep, this is kind of what I'm looking for, folks. If you have any questions, please let me know. Hopefully this video is not blurry. I guess we'll find out.